Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network! Since last time, I made my way back to Internet Area 3 because I forgot I needed to buy three more HP memory chips to get up to level 70 when I'm going to buy a couple more power-up chips very soon to put into my rapid stat there. And that will bring me up to level 70. So, yeah, I'm gonna take care of that and... I'm going to, well, head on back to where we fought Bomb Man last time in Internet Area 11. Okay, we're back. Got all the HP memory chips I needed, so let's go into Internet Area 12. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, this area is the end of this branching path, so there's no more uh, areas that we can go to from here. We're going to have to go back a few areas to get some stuff. But I do want to buy two power-up chips here, and there's one more to buy, the other one we find, and the one you buy costs 100,000 zenny. So, yeah, it's not really worth it, but, well, I'm going to be getting it all the same. So, let's take a look around. There's actually quite a few good things we can get around here, starting with the new enemy, Snake, or Big Snake, the original one, 200 HP. So let's see, a couple Dino Wave chips. Get the job done. Easy enough. And we get a chip I wanted to, or I would have farmed if I needed to, but, well, now I don't have to. All right, I think that's all the Snake Egg chips now. That'll make life a little easier. Yeah, the enemies in this area, not so difficult. Especially if you know how to time things right, and you know their AI scripts or pathing algorithms or whatever you call them. All right, we got another new enemy here. Poiton 2. Actually, we don't need the th th third one, but I do want to win Dynamite 2 from them. So what I'm going to do is try to weaken them a bit, get everyone under 200 HP or so, and then use double Gutsman 3 chips. Hopefully, that'll get the job done. There's also another new enemy in the back there, Fanner 2, who would drop the Hurricane chip, but I already found that it... Wiley's network, if I recall correctly. But yeah, I don't need a chip from them. I do need the Dynamite 2 chip, though. All right. Wow, all these chips have fallen right in my lap. Awesome. Okay, well, let's keep on exploring. Gotta find that boss around here somewhere. At least that's what I heard. Well, nothing on that path there. Alright, took care of those guys. What do we got? Where are we going, anyway? Ah, okay, yeah. Okay, well, 2,000. Hey, we're almost there. I'll certainly have enough money by the time we get that other... Or, we get to the merchant who has the chip I want. And I almost forgot to go over the chips I need to get in this area. Let's see, we got Gaia 2. That's chip number 46 there. So, we can meet up with those guys around here. Snake Egg 1, we already got. What was the other one? Let's see. Ah, Mine 3. We can meet up with those enemies here. And, let's see, what was the last one? Ah, Dynamite 2. Number 93 there. So, yeah, well, we've already, we're already halfway there, aside from the boss farming that I'm going to need to do. He's up that path to the right there, but I don't want to take him on just yet. Wow, they're just throwing money at me. Shouldn't the plural of Zenny be I, I, or end in I-E-S? Game? I was almost at the end there. Okay, well, we got, well, two of the enemies that have the chips I want. Let's see, we got Miney 3 in the upper right, and Gaia 2 in the lower right there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Miney 3 with two full charge shots. And then watch out for the Gaia damage there. If you time your movement just right, you can move forward just as it's coming towards you and completely avoid damage, just like in the battle with the life virus there. Hey, hey all right. Well, we got something. Yeah, all these chips you don't need ultra high ranks to get. As long as, you know, you're about five, maybe preferably seven or more, you should be fine. And that shouldn't be too hard. For boss time against Feral Man himself. Okay, so I'm thinking if I want to add or use the Dino Wave chips, I'm going to go with the Dino Wave chips. 
because, yeah, if I get like three chips that are going to be able to be effective, I might as well just grab those instead of using the add command, just to kind of whittle the boss down a little bit. But now, yeah, we got to use the add command. So yeah, basically he just throws those coffins, or sarcophagus, or whatever those things are called. I, I don't know. My knowledge of Egyptian mythology is sorely lacking, viewers. Or any mythology for that matter. But anyway, yeah, one more shot here. Boom. Okay, we got him. And didn't take a hit, so... Yeah, super boss? I think not. But at least we got his chip from him. And once you defeat him, you can meet up with his, uh, well, more powerful version around here randomly. So I'll just keep walking around here until I find him. Got a few chips to win. But before we do that, let's see. Okay, I want to try and win the Gaia 2 chip here. Hopefully we can do that. So let's see. Yeah, a couple shots there. And just as the guy becomes active, throw the Quake 3 chip, hit him with a full charge buster, boom, dead. Hey, hey, all right. And we got all the chips I needed. Awesome. Well, except Pharaoh Man's chips, so let's get those now. Okay, there he is, Pharaoh Man. Uh, oddly enough, unlike pretty much every other Navi, in the game, there's only two versions of Pharaoh Man, not three, even though you can get version three chips from him in version two. So I want to get Pharaoh Man version two and three, and I also want to get, what was the other one? Uh, Anubis from him too. So we got three chips to win from him. I also, uh, if, as you may notice, I've er, er, Rearranged my folder, got rid of the Dino Wave chips, brought in Quake 3, so that way I can fire those right over the objects he's throwing on the battlefield and all that. Basically, if you just stay in the front row and you're not in front of the coffin there, you can you'll basically never get hit. He can throw out like those ratons there and try to hit you, but they can't go up or down until they reach the second column. So if you're in the front, you'll be fine. All right, we got an Anubis chip. So yeah, you gotta S rank or get a rank of ten or S most likely to get that chip. Same thing with Pharaoh Man version three. All right. Well, speaking of which, there it is. So yeah, you either get Pharaoh Man three or Anubis at rank S. Hey, all right. Yeah, you saw me take the intentional hit there just before I annihilated him. Well, had to do that in order to get the version 2 of his chip. So, all right, we're doing pretty good here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Internet Area 10 now and meet you by the merchant over there because that'll take us where we want to go next. Okay, we're back at Internet Area 10 by the merchant there. And remember, in Internet Area 10, do not run from battles like I'm doing here if you haven't opened the door yet. I already did that, so that's not a problem. But normally there'd be a door right here that says, hey, you can't go through here because you've ran from battles or something, but I did that a while ago. Oh, what do you mean by that? As many what? That's cryptic. Okay, never mind, then I don't know what he's talking about. But anyway, yeah, I've already fought this guy. I don't need to try and win chips from him. Actually, there are no chips that I want to win from uh, Air Internet Area 13, which is where we are now. And so basically from Internet Area 10, it branches off into a path of Internet Area 11 and 12, and then also to Internet 13, 14, 15, and 16. So we're getting there. 
man, it takes me hours to win these chips. In real time, that is. So, yeah, I mean, it's hard enough winning or er, encountering the enemies I want, let alone win the chips. Or have a good enough battle to get the chips. So, yeah, it takes quite a while. That's why my episodes have been, been a bit short lately. Yeah, I love making these videos, but even I have a limit to how much time I want to spend on it. But anyway, let's see. Okay, that's everything we can do there. We got the Recove 150 chip, so we need that for our collection. But what do we need to open this door here? Find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!